Hey, what's good, y'all? I know you haven't seen me for a little bit, but it's, uh, well, I was gonna do something really good for this, force my opinion, but I had some technical difficulties, as you could call it, or ecological difficulties. But yeah, now I'm back with it, and now I'm gonna make it a little simple. At first, it's gonna be like some revolution thing. Matter of fact, yeah, yeah, you can see that. Supposed to look like that, yeah. But I'm gonna make some choice because the wind is bugging out there. So yeah, I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do. And yeah, there's gonna be a lot of spray paint, a lot of talking. So bear with that, and it's gonna be a, a lot of cursing. That's just how it goes with this one. But yeah, let's get into it.
2020, you feel like back in 1992, man. I feel like we got so much progress, man. Who was out there still getting beat? Protesters, people protesters. Getting beat, shot at, like this is 1963, man. And we think it's changing. Back in the same goddamn position that they did. They tell us that ain't nothing changed. They're gonna tell us that Martin Luther King's dream is shattered right now, man. that black people ain't worth living. My question is, who the hell should have to fight to live, man? Who, to, who the hell should have to fight for the right to have skin like this and be living and walking and breathing, man? We shouldn't have to be protesting for this shit. We shouldn't have to be writing for this shit. We built this goddamn country. They built the Constitution. They told us that we're supposed to be able to be equal and the same rights as our white counterparts, right? But yet, we're getting denied our rights. Still sitting here wondering when the fuck is it gonna change, right? Still sitting on the TV, seeing a man down on the ground asking for his dead mother. Eight minutes and 46 seconds, man. While some white cop sits here, look at old Giddy and knee down, man. But yeah, guess what? A few years ago, a man took a knee on the a man took a knee on the field, a football field, man. And said, fuck this. Fuck with the suppression, right? But guess what? Suppression's still going on. Of course, if he took a knee for it and gave up his whole career for it, it's still going on to this day. I'll see. I should have to say this shit, but I have to. Black lives matter. Understand that. Black lives matter. Simple, man. I can live and have skin this color. I should be able to. She had to fight for this, man. It shouldn't have been 400 years, but we were in this country oppressed, man. 
there shouldn't have to be cops kneeling down on black guys next, man. That shouldn't have to happen. There shouldn't be a black team getting shot, having a, 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 a bag, of, a pack of skittles in his pack, a pack of skittles in his pack. Fuck. That shit shouldn't happen. But yet it does. But yet we have to fight for it, man. We have to. How the fucking shit gonna change them, right? It's stay the same. So, so all that bullshit that they're talking about, all that's matter, here's what the fuck I got to say about that. It's gonna sound like two pugs, like the last part of two pugs, um, so I'm hit them up. It's the fucking truth right here. Now, we got all lives matter, right? People talking about all lives matter. Yes, all lives do matter, but guess what? That's not what the fuck we're saying here, man. Mm. Now, all lives do matter, don't get me wrong there. I'm not saying all lives don't. So I'm um, say that Black Lives Matter, fuck you. That's what I gotta say. All lives do matter, yes. But you can't use this to try to break down the Black Lives Matter movement. That doesn't work. It's a big ass red X right there, bro. Try to say that shit, but don't try to acknowledge Black Lives Matter in general. Generally, fuck you. You can't cancel. That's an X. God damn X for you. Right? Now, you need to see me in my first one, right? Here. It's the goddamn truth. Same time. And we got our police, right? The motto is to protect and serve, right? Yeah. I didn't see them protecting and serving um, George Floyd. You would say blue lives matter, right? Yeah, they do matter, yes, cop lives do matter, but guess what? At the same time, piece, those pieces of shit that keep on killing all black people, man. Keep on killing off people of any other race, man. For no reason, just to, I guess, fuel their bigot habits, right? For no reason, right? And I'm not saying all cops are bad, or all cops are racist, right? But you're not keeping your fellow blue brother in check. He says some shit or does some shit that's wrong, that violates the constitutional rights of a black person, man. You're not doing nothing. You're just as bad as him. And the same shit that he does, except your finger isn't on the trigger. Might as well be, though, right? Those four other cops, right? Those four other, those four other cops that, um, that just stood there um, while that cop was um, had his knee on George Floyd? They might as well have a knee on his um, on his neck as well. The paramedics, right, in the situation, they might as well have his knee, their knee on his neck too, right? Cause they ain't do shit. Right? So I'ma stress this. So I'm not gonna say fuck all cops, cause I ain't NWA here, man. Right? But for the racist ones, I right, think this is for the racist ones, the racist ones only. Saying shit to, you know, saying shit to keep the racist ass backwards ass cop in mind. Fuck you, to the ex. That's all. Well, yeah, in case I didn't make this clip before, even though I like the way the Confederate flag looks, man, I still know what the fuck it means. I still know what the fuck it stands for. So. This is gonna get the fattest fucking edge, bro. Understand.
it's gonna be a really satisfying one. For all those racists, bigots, anyone who doesn't accept their fellow man as their fellow man, or their fellow woman, or their fellow trans, bi, any of that, man. For all those who are against that shit, you get the biggest fucking ass right now. serious note men to all those who are taking a stand against the bullshit right now I applaud you thank you you want the right thing run the right side of history yeah. got too much of this shit happening now and you know people are still dying today man but even before George Floyd um, you had um Ahmed Arbery man Ahmed Ar can't pronounce the name man but yeah to Racist as white bitch Lynn decided to hop in a pickup truck with a 12 gauge. He was jogging. Arby was jogging, man. They pulled him out, started roughing him up. Then they claimed self defense. Guess what? They fucking claimed self defense. They said they're doing this shit for the for fucking help. Like, they fucking shot him in cold blood with a goddamn shotgun. Boom. That was it. That was his life. It's the bullshit. And now I'm hearing about people getting hung. In um, different states around the world, different states around the country, man. What the fuck is this, man? It was past this. People thought it was past this fucking lynching shit, man. 1920s, they had lynchings in um, public, um, public, public areas, man. Now I see black men hanging from a tree. Not here in New York, but like, it's happening. People going missing out here. People are actually going missing out here. I'm not sure what the fuck's happening. So you know, it's the bullshit. But seriously, thank you to those who are standing up, man. Celebrities standing up, thank you. People who are standing up, thank you. But for those clout chasers who are getting this shit just to be in on it, not to actually say something and prove a point, man, fuck you. I should have put an X down for that shit, but fuck you, man. If you're not really down for the cause, you're just with it to be with it. Nah. You gotta understand, people are actually dying, man. People have been dying. We got so many names that we could list. People who died. Who knows? I'm black. I'm young. And when I get older and start to drive, man, got one cop that might pull me over, right? Be it for me. You guys look like George Floyd. Another name, another picture on a shirt. Another protest. So honestly, these protests are good and all. But we gotta hit them where it hurts. The economy, man. We gotta buy into the black business. Do what Mar do what Malcolm X was doing, man. What Malcolm X did, he got a whole bunch of black people off the street, cleaned them up, got a whole bunch of black businesses in Harlem, got them up and running. We gotta do that shit. Like the Montgomery bus boycott, man. They boycotted that motherfucker for a, for a fucking year, man. They didn't make no money. We gotta do that. Hit them where it hurts the pockets. Your pockets will make the biggest difference, man. Because we know we can't change racist views. That's that's passed down from generations and generations. We can't we, we can't change their hearts and minds. We can't change their hearts and minds. We could change how that we could change like how they're regulated, man. Do shit to change from now on, man. All right. To those, I say peace. Fight the power, man. Fight the power, fight the oppression. Fight those racist ass, hillbilly people who want to keep us down, who want to keep people with my skin color down, man. But thanks, man. Peace. Oh, fuck you. You ain't with it. And peace to those who are. And fight the power, man.